Today, I got to fit my best friend. Let me do a little bit of bragging about my best friend. Alicia reached Olympic level in ice skating and I've always been so proud of her. Well, a lot of figure skaters will do cross training in ballet because you have to work on port de bras through ballet. So she took ballet classes, she took jazz classes, she's very coordinated, very, very, very talented. So I wanted to fit her in point shoes to see how she did. I've always noticed that she has very beautiful feet and that's not from ice skating because I remember we had a lot of figure skaters in our ballet studio and whenever we had a figure skater, they never pointed their feet and that was a thing because when you have ice skates on, they almost feel like a cast around your ankles. You don't really point your feet. So even though they're really strong, they don't usually use their feet to point. They don't articulate. When I saw Alicia's feet, I was always thinking in my head, what would look good on her? So we tried some point shoes on and it was really fun. Uh, she uh, is very flexible. Relax her ankles. She's really loose in her ankles. Like she has a lot of range going every direction. But another thing that I noticed, and you don't, I guess you don't need this for ice skates because you're, it's almost like you're wearing a cast, but her ankle flexibility, it goes in. So this is something that we have to be careful with Alicia because like she never had to develop the muscles here yep. to go on point. Yep. So like when I, like when she's relaxed mm -hmm. and when I move her ankles, most of her range is going in the sickling direction. Yep. So we have to be really careful that she's in something that's stable enough so that she is using the outside of her leg. And this is something I'm working on because I'm noticing it now when I walk my shoes, the outside of my shoe will slightly yes. roll. And it's because I don't have that good strength on this side of my ankle. Yes. Which came from my ice skating. Exactly. So but if I had had it, I would have been a better ice skater. Exactly. She doesn't have a lot of strength in her ankles. So I put point shoes on her and immediately she started to sickle. See how she wants to go towards her pinky? Mm -hmm. So see when you step down, put pressure on, mm -hmm. you're using this muscle. See that's much better. Because Alicia has been trained as an athlete her whole life and she understands her body really well. I told her to push towards her big toe and she was able to fix that right away. But we noticed that after she was on point for quite some time, she started to feel like the outside of her legs were really sore because she's not used to using those muscles. I think because ice skaters, they have to learn how to hold their body up while they're spinning so quickly they have to have a really strong core and a really strong back something that a lot of dancers lack because we're pretty stable on the ground we have direct contact with the floor rather than the blades that come up it's funny that alicia and i have been friends for such a long time and we come from these backgrounds and we never actually had a conversation about this but her Ice skates are incredible. When you get fitted for ice skates, do you, so you sit down, how do you, how do you measure your foot? Uh, you, so you draw, just, you draw a diagram and then you stand up and then you draw it around and that's it. So your feet are different sizes. So when you don't have that much pressure on the floor, then your feet are smaller. And then when you put all the pressure on there, it's a completely different size. So she has to measure her feet in two different ways. And then she has to get together with her shoemaker and customize all of her shape and the materials, the different type of leather. Like ankle bones, those, those get, I mind would bleed. Like mm. I would skate to the point of bleeding. But I mean, I think feet bleeding is a part of skating and ballet. Yeah, so. it is. It is. So you don't wear any padding in here, it's just tights? Just tights and sometimes so heavy. I substitute with these bunga pads, so they're like a gel. Uh-huh. And just to protect my ankles. Oh yeah, because that little... Mm-hmm. Because it will... Oh, it's jelly. And it's jelly, so you just kind of put oh. these on. It's like a giant jelly tip. tip. The sport's been around for so long, but it's all the same tools. It's yeah. like, how do you keep things from rubbing? Like, like This feels really familiar. And I was like, this is lamb's wool. This is exactly what dancers use to put in their point shoes. Cause it's like nice and fluffy. Mm -hmm. And then you can fluff it back up too. So mm -hmm. it's nice and um, cushiony. But you know, your feet have little divots that stick out yes. that always get agitated. Yeah. Um, so we had these ball joints that we could stick in here and almost clamp it and create 
these really odd looking shapes that stick out. Oh. It's like pushing the leather out uh -huh. on the spots that hurt you more. Yeah. So it's like a padding. Yeah, it's like creating space. So all of these little things are customizations that are specific to Alicia. And I thought this was so fun because ballerinas do the same thing. We have different dancers that will have different preferences with the fabric length, with the size, with the shape of the shoe, the vamp, the length, all of those things. So I loved seeing all of the different similarities, but there's also a lot of differences in where we are strong. So ice skaters, or Alicia at least, the ankles and the feet were not as strong while she was stronger in her core and her back. So there's definitely a lot of cross training that can go on. And because she was only taking ballet as a supplement to her ice skating, she never really went on point before. And I think if she had gone on point, she would have been much more successful because she would have had so much more strength in her ankles and her feet. It was just so fun to hang out with her because I always like hanging out with Alicia. She's my best friend. Our very last event before we went to shut down was her wedding. I gave a speech at her wedding. It was super cute. Alicia and I have known each other for about 10 years and there's been a lot of things that happened over the past decade. And Alicia is such a good friend. She's been with me through everything. We went through a party phase, an emo phase. We went through a chubby phase, for sure. We went through all these phases together last week. <laughs> I hope she really goes into point because she has really pretty feet. And I think if she had a little bit more strength, she's gonna be so successful on point. I love you, Alicia. Yeah. Uh, I think the most expensive cost for skating, honestly, is the competitions and the travel. Mm -hmm. Because if you're just one person and you have to pay for your travel, your coach's travel, uh, your, you know, if your parents are coming, your parents travel, their hotel, mm -hmm. their time. And so every competition is not just like, oh, I'm just going to go to a competition. Yeah. It's like, oh, I need my custom dress and my custom music and I need to travel my coach um, and all of this stuff. So. Okay, right. So don't put my daughter in ice skating. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> Unless, you know. <laughs> Unless you're on to you. <laughs> ice skating coach. How did you travel with this? Did they allow you to take this into the plate? So... Sometimes they wouldn't and that was a problem. I yeah, my coach would have major anxiety about the skates not showing up on the other side of the plane. This is a weapon. <laughs> Do I look like a criminal to you? <laughs> no, I'm just an ice skater. <laughs> okay, tell it again. <laughs> what all your, your points are. I just hit myself with the back of the plane. <laughs> video please subscribe hit that like button and hit that notification bell all of those things help us out and if you'd like some merch you can go on our website and if you have any questions just leave that on the comments I'll see you guys later